Welcome to Electron Line. In this example, we're going to lift the water out of a semi-spherical tank. Notice that the height is 5 meters, therefore the radius is 5 meters. And what we're going to do again is take a small slice, find the volume of that slice, find the mass of that slice, and then find the work required to take that small slice out of the tank. And then we're going to integrate over all the slices to get the total work done to lift all of the water out of that tank. It's a semi-spherical tank. So the dV, the small volume, it's going to be like a, a flat little uh, washer. Well, it's not really washed because there's no opening. So it's slice, small little slice dV. It's going to be the area times the height dy. And the area would be the area of a circle. And notice that if we draw an axis in here, call this the y-axis and call this the x-axis here. This is the y-axis. Notice that this would be the distance y to that slice. And here this would be x. So the area of that would be pi r squared or pi x squared. So this is pi x squared dy. Now we have an x squared and a dy, so we need to somehow change the x squared in terms of y. But since this cross-sectional area here is a semicircle, we can then take this distance r here to the edge. y would be the height, x would be this. So we can write that x squared plus y squared equals r squared. In this case, r is 5, so that would be 25 squared. Or x squared can be written as 25 minus y squared. And we can substitute that in here. And so the volume of that slice now becomes pi times 25 minus y squared times dy. Okay, now to find the mass of that, we can then say that dm is equal to the density times dv. So this would be equal to the density times pi times 25 minus y squared dy. And finally, to get the, the work to lift that small little dm up to the top, notice that the distance here would be 5 minus y. So then the work done, dw, would be equal to dm times g times the height that we lifted through, which would be 5 minus y. That would be the work done to, to lift a small little slice to the top. And therefore, the total work done is equal to the integral of all the little dw's. We're going to integrate from y equals 0 to y equals 5. And so this is going to be equal to Let's take all the constants out. Well, anyway, dm is equal to that. Let me just write it out first. So it's going to be the integral of dm, which is the density times pi times 25 minus y squared times dy. So that would be dm is this quantity right here, multiplied times g and multiplied times 5 minus y. Okay, we have everything now we need to integrate, but we probably want to pull out all the constants, the density, pi, and g, and then multiply this times this. So, and the limits would be from 0 to 5. So this would be equal to density times g times pi times integral from 0 to 5. Multiply this together, we have 25 times 5, which is 125. We have 25 times a minus y, which is a minus 25y. We have a 5 times a minus y squared, that's minus 5y squared. And then we have a minus y squared times a minus y, which is a plus y cubed, all times dy. Okay, remember, that will be the total work done to lift all the water out of that semi-spherical tank. Let's go ahead and integrate that. So work done is equal to density times g times pi times 125y minus 25y squared over 2 minus 5y cubed over 3 and plus y to the fourth over 4 evaluated from 0 to 5. Notice when we plug in the lower limit, we get zero, so we don't have to worry about that. We only need to plug in the upper limit. So this is equal to density g times pi from this right here. Now when we plug in 5 
Here we get 125 times 5, which is 625, minus 5 squared is 25 times 25 is 625 divided by 2. Plug in this, we get 5 cubed, 125 times 5 is 625 divided by 3. And then plus the last term, 5 to the 4th is 625 divided by 4. So notice I can pull out a 625. So this means that work done is equal to density times g times pi times 625. And we have remaining 1 minus a half minus a third and plus a fourth. Now here the common denominator looks like it's going to be 12. Yes, 12. So that means that this is equal to density times g times pi times 625 times. So this would be 12 twelfths minus 6 twelfths minus, ooh, let's see, that would be 4 twelfths and plus 3 twelfths. This would be 12 minus 6 is 6, minus 4 is 2, plus 3 is 5 twelfths. So this is equal to density times g times pi times 5 times 625, which is 3,125, and then divide the whole thing by 12. And work done equals, let's go ahead and calculate that out. So we have 1,000 times 9.8, times pi times 3,125 divided by 12, and that gives us 8.02 times 10 to the 6th. Joules, of course, 10 to the 6th is million, so just slightly over 8 million joules to empty out that semi-spherical tank. Again, the method is find the slice, to find the slice is dv. When it is in terms of x squared dy, we have to then relate x to y. We do that using x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Then replace x squared by 25 minus y squared, since r squared is 25. Then dm is going to be the density times the volume. And then we can go ahead and find the work done by saying that the work done is equal to the mass times g times the height to which we have to lift it. It'll be 5 minus y will be the height each slice needs to be lifted by. And then we have to integrate that, and there's the result. That's how it's done.